touchdown.
Touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown.
Everyone, this is very embarrassing, but I've just realized my mic has been muted the whole time. That is an embarrassing moment for me. I've been talking this whole time with my mic muted. And, uh, wow. I can see why people are leaving the stream. That's pretty embarrassing for me. But here we have a Duncanville touchdown. I'll try and make up for missing out on a lot of commentary here. Wow. That is a rookie mistake from me. And, uh... Duncanville gonna go for a running play. Can't get the two-point conversion, but they did close that gap. Alright, and that's gonna be a kickoff. Bishop Gorman bringing it to the 30-yard line, it looks like. Yep. Wow. Um, Bishop Gorman bringing it back. First and 10. It's going to be no good as an incomplete pass leads him to a second and 10. Bishop Gorman scrambling in the pocket. Big toss. Can he make it? That's going to be intercepted by the IMG transfer. Wow. With one second left. What are they going to do here? They're going to go for a touchdown Hail Mary here. See if they can get it. And that is an incomplete pass. Swatted down. And uh, that's going to end your first half. 18 to 22 your score with Bishop Gorman in the lead. So far... A very tight game, just as expected. And once again, I'm sorry about uh, having my mic muted for that first half. And we started off Bishop Gorman with the ball here. Down at the 30 yard line. Um, okay, I'm going to try and fix it. Uh, I'm trying to let them, so they threw a pick, and now here, let me just add the yards. God, I don't know how to, I don't know how to make the first down go back.
That's just... What is going on with this game? Oh my god. I, I, I'm not, just to let everyone know, I'm not a ref, or a certified ref, I'm trying, I'm trying my best here. Alright, and they're intentionally throwing a pick, and he's gonna go down, alright. we have let's see okay play is getting back now Duncanville 18 Bishop Gorman 22 and oh my god I have to fix the time I don't, I don't even think I this no it's play clock I, I can't change the but I can't maybe as everything's happening in the background. I don't think I know how to do that. But, uh, here we go. Bishop Gorman doesn't have the ball. Let me fix that. Duncanville with the ball here. That's going to be a quick little screenplay. Getting them some good yardage, about six yards on that play. Second and four. For all the new people popping in. If you left early in the first half, it's because I uh, accidentally had my mic muted. Didn't have any clue. I uh, wasn't really checking Streamlabs. That's my fault, but I mean, we're getting in this commentary now. We have the game of the week on our hands, and it's a close one. The Duncanville... Wide receiver there, making a few people miss to get that first down. Here we have a uh, first and ten here for Duncanville. Looking for a touchdown, you'd think, but uh, he has to throw it out of bounds because of that rush by Bishop Gorman. need to snap the ball in five seconds or it's going to be a delay of game. He snaps at the last second and that was almost an interception by Bishop Gorman but it uh it's just going to be swatted down and that's going to be third and ten. Third and ten here. Duncan Folk going to throw it up. That's going to be intercepted by the defensive back, Steezy. And Bishop Gorman going to get the ball. So Bishop Gorman are up by four points. And that's going to be a missed screen pass by Bishop Gorman. <laughs> that is not, in fact, grounding. They're going to get this play on. Bishop Gorman scrambling in the pocket. Finds his man. Almost intercepted by the defensive back, but it's not quite... It's going to be third and ten for Bishop Gorman here. We're going to need to make a big play to get that first down.
Can't find anyone. What's he gonna do here to avoid the safety? Throws it up. And that's uh right to nobody. No man's land, and that's a fourth down. Your punter here. Uh gonna be no um not sure what just happened there. But uh it's gonna be Duncanville's ball now. Duncanville bring it down. All the way to the opposing team's 43 yard line. It's gonna be good field position for them. Not exactly sure what's happening here. Five seconds left on the play clock. And uh, Duncanville gonna snap it. Finds his man, only Hoods, trying to go down, stopped at the 24 yard line, but that's gonna be good for a first down. Duncanville. We're in this position last drive. Couldn't capitalize. What can they do here? Ten seconds on the play clock. What are they going to do here? Just for that little run play. I think he gets the first down as he just keeps on going. Oh no, there's just a visual visual glitch. He does get the first down. <laughs> does get the first down. But at first it looked like he was just going through anyone who tried to tackle him. Little quick pass, not gonna work for Duncanville there. Second and ten. Duncanville have been trailing for a while in this game. And they get gonna get that lead that they held at the start back. There's a little fade pass. Incomplete. Third and ten here. Gonna need to get something here. Even a first down would be alright. Because if you're Duncanville here, you do not want to settle for a field goal as we'll still be behind. That's intercepted by, uh, I don't know how to say the name, Tatis, Tatis. Either way, it doesn't matter because that's a Bishop Gorman interception. They're going to have the ball on their own 17-yard line. Let's see what Bishop Gorman can do with this drive as he's getting pressured. But he finds the wide receiver who gets the first down and more there. Up at their own 35 yard line. Alright, and here we go. First down, Bishop Gorman. Getting heavy pressure. Throws it up. And Tadis with the catch. Gonna get the first down. Oh, that is not a first down. That is a first in inches for Bishop Gorman, or second in inches. You would think, though, that they'd make it here. I do screen blast the syrup. Yep, that's exactly what they'll do. Left wide open, um, giving way too much space to him on a second in inches by Duncanville. As this uh, third quarter is coming to a close, we have quite the tight game here. Bishop Gorman has the ability to spread their lead. Going for a deep pass here, it looks like. He finds his man. First down. How much more? Oh, that's a fumble. Loose ball. Who got it? Lucky, the Duncanville player gets on that. 
And that is a Duncanville <laughs> forced fumble. And they recover it. Duncanville gonna have the ball here. What a play. What a play. Carlix popping the ball out of the Bishop Gorman receiver's hands. Didn't tuck it in time. He's gonna regret that. Uh, they go for a rush there. Up to the 29, no matter what it looked like. It's gonna be second and third. What a play by Duncanville, though, to force that fumble and just get on it. Alright, Duncanville. Gonna need to make something happen here. Corrupt! For a huge rush. It's all the way to their 42 yard line. Duncanville looking dangerous. Duncanville going for a passing play here. Can he find anyone? And he does. Or does he? That's another interception by Tottis. He is everywhere out there. And, uh, wow. Bishop Gorman with the ball back. Bishop Gorman looking for a pass. And they find it! Zesto with a big catch and the big throw by uh, Lucker. That's going to be putting them in seven yards away from a touchdown here. Can they make it happen to extend their lead? Green pass. Touchdown. Dives over the man. Big hurdle. Big play. Bishop Gorman. Touchdown. Bishop Gorman, now with a lead of 10. Gonna go for a two-point conversion here. Can't find anyone. Gonna get sacked. Two-point conversion is no good. But a 10-point lead is a two-possession game for Duncanville. And they get it back. Wow, that kick is going to go over all the Duncanville players' heads. Not looking good for the kick return. It's going to be stopped around the 15-yard line. And, uh, Duncanville... Trying to find a deep ball here. That's going to be a bit overthrown. Almost. Duncanville need to make something happen in this drive or else their hopes of getting back into this game might be gone. Two possession. Uh, two possessions until they can even have a chance at getting back. Throws it down and that's incomplete. Third and ten. Duncanville need to make this third down conversion. You have to think. Duncanville, can they find anyone? Looks like they do. Garlic's beating every everyone that tried to tackle in there. And gets all the way to the 37 yard line. Snapping the ball, looking deep. And that's going to be overthrown. You can see the idea there, but just not executed right. Duncanville, second and 10. Can't waste any time here to get that touchdown. You can see Bishop Gorman in preparation of that, having three men back. What a throw. What a catch by Lucky. And if he can get through, I was going to say, if he can get through, that could be a touchdown. But that's still going to be good. 
for a first down and a lot more as they're only 15 of yards away from a touchdown. First and 10 here. What can they do? Can we be looking for that touchdown. Can they find it? And they're going to be sacked at the 9 yard line. That is not what you want right here. Alright, with that, second and 19, about 23 yards away from a touchdown. Little oh, pass right there, can't get the first down, but puts them in good position to get one. Third and two, can Duncanville do it? Or can they even get a touchdown here? We'll see. Predicting a little run play here exactly what it is as he runs in for a touchdown Sob with the touchdown right there and Duncanville are reigniting their hopes of getting back into this one we're gonna go for two trying to make the lead a bit less far away Sob with the ball can't run through that's gonna be a four point deficit they're gonna go for an onside kick here And whose ball is that going to be? That's going to be Bishop Gorman's ball off that onside kick. Clutch by Syrup. You cannot give Duncanville the ball in that area of the field. Be a little, little pass play by Bishop Gorman. Second and five. He's trying to eat that clock a bit. I mean, if you're Bishop Gorman here, you're really in no rush to score, but like they are, as they snap the ball pretty quick, and that's going to be a sack. Not looking good for Bishop Gorman. Duncanville, their defense proving to be a huge factor of their game. Third and 18. A stop here by Duncanville would mean a chance at victory. Doesn't look like he can find anyone really, but the wide receiver taught us his other plans as he completely disregards his uh his defender. Makes that catch. Huge play by Bishop Gorman. And if they can score a touchdown here, it's almost over. And that's exactly what they do. Bishop Gorman with the touchdown. 10 point lead again. Not looking good at all. And uh, they're gonna go for a kick. And the kick is blocked by Carlix. But uh, what good is that gonna do for them? I'm not sure as Duncanville only have about one minute left. What can they do here? Kick return. I'm gonna truck his man. Stopped at the 37 yard line. And uh, Duncanville make that pass there. And that's fumbled. Who's going to get on the ball there? I'm pretty sure Duncanville recovered it. No, they didn't. And uh, Bishop Gorman getting the ball back. And it might be over with that fumble recovery. Look, you're going to rush with the ball. Just trying to drain time out of the clock here. And I'm pretty sure that's game, to be honest see what they do if they make any dumb plays but that should be the game uh, Bishop Gorman playing an excellent game here tonight I'm gonna go for a pass for some reason 
but we can see why as he just is able to tear up this defense. Zesto with another catch. And this might be game over here. Happy to waste all the time in the world. Touchdown. Weird little pass there, but it, it's good for a touchdown. And Bishop Gorman have run away with this game, as that is most definitely game over. We go for a kick. Easy. Gonna try and attempt this field goal here. And that is good. 41-24, most likely going to be your final score here, but uh, just let it uh, run out. Give Duncanville a chance for consolation. Stopped at the 35-yard line with eight seconds left. Game. My guess is they're just going to run a little Hail Mary, four verticals type play. Just to uh, get any consolation they can, but I mean, lots of their players have already left. Not looking good. Three man rush. There is no line. He's just going to have to send it up. And it's caught by Lucky. Might get that consolation. Dukes out his man. But that's going to be game over. 41-24 is your final score. Bishop Gorman uh, pulled through for victory.